350 years, unbroken service soldiering. My boys have carried on the tradition. My dad served in two world wars. Three awards for bravery. He never talked about it. 87 he was, and I'm catching him up. The city is full of stories. If you ask, they tumble out, a vast, invisible cloud of wisps and wafts, bodily traces, memories of decades and thousands of years, filmy cloaks floating behind each of us, dazzling or grey dark, bloodied. Our weedy worker day traceries of tools, needles, childbirth, smarts, Hungers, blushes, easier to tell a stranger than to bear the frail decline of a man, once a boy, now with the longest glimpse. Young people dance, peachy, their turn, before they wake to find they've given way to the next. The city is full of voices, whispering, shouting, apprenticed as humans, all of us, trying to learn even in our last long decades which skills must be forged afresh and which still hold as the old people learnt. How to read Martinia till it is just red ripe for pouring out. How to stretch the shillings to feed all the mouths. How to bear a loss that cannot be borne. How to welcome a change that you do not welcome. How to cross oceans. How to confide how or if to recover from a wound, release a bee from a bonnet, seek out laughter, how to know when you won't win this one, remembering whenever possible to look at the sky, that others have wrestled with this before you and others will still be wrestling when you're done. This is all we are learning to embroider a story into a hand-me-down cloak and at most leave a stitch or two in those that follow. <laughs>